collapse of civilizations and the extinction of much of the natural world. Our science editor, David Shipman, has the story. It's been a year of deadly fires and record heat, and also new warnings from scientists about the dangers of living in a world of rising temperatures, with the risk of many more scenes like this. We all know what's good. A social media campaign has gathered voices from around the world calling on governments to take action. Please welcome Sir David Attenborough. The campaign spokesman was given a rare chance to appeal directly to this global forum. Right now, we're facing a man-made disaster of global scale. Our greatest threat in thousands of years, climate change. If we don't take action, the collapse of our civilizations and the extinction of much of the natural world is on the horizon. There was applause, but not much. Maybe because tackling climate change is so difficult. <laughs> Poland, like many countries, depends on coal. We went down a mine to see the grim process of getting it out. Thousands here think a green future threatens their jobs. What would you say to a Polish coal miner about his future, given what's being discussed here in this conference? Well, all you can say is that, that things change um, and uh, it, there's a process of history which is now moving to its end um, and uh, you will have to find your children, you will have to find new ways of living. So as the conference continues, there'll be some tense arguments over what to do. With so many countries represented here and thousands of delegates together with incredibly complicated negotiations, it's easy to forget what this is all about. So let me show you what's happened to global temperatures. There's one stripe here for each year since 1850. Blue is for below average, orange is for above average, and the most recent years are the hottest, so they're marked in red. And the big concern is where the world is heading next. Stronger storms and the sea level rising are growing threats. Small island states feel the most vulnerable. What kind of effort must be put into rebuilding when your entire economy is wiped away? Imagine, what if the, the entire economy of Ireland or, or England was washed away? Where would you start? And that is the reality of climate change. Outside the conference, coal fires are burning, each one polluting the air. Scientists say stopping this is essential. It'll be a huge challenge. The big question is what happens next. On the one hand, you've got Donald Trump, who basically says all this global warming stuff is a lot of nonsense, dismissing what his own government scientists are telling him. On the other, there's big change in renewable energy, the price of wind and solar power falling dramatically, which makes a green transition more plausible. So if I had to say, I give a guess, I'd say it is going to happen eventually but maybe not as rapidly as many here would like. Fiona. David Shipman in Katowice, thank you.